Hilo, what's my cervix size? Hi everyone, I'm Red Herring and before I begin I wanted to give a big shout out and thank you to Amber Grace who sang the opening of this video. Um, hi Lo, what's my cervix size to Adele's hello, it was so cute. Thank you so much Amber Grace, I loved it. Um, Amber Grace has a small uh, Super Jenny and a small Eva. Hope those are working out for you. So in a lot of my previous videos I talk about measuring for your cervix and I figured I might as well make a video about it and I know that there are several videos out there um, and I thought heck there's one here's one more. Um, so we ask that you measure your cervix and um, we're just looking for an approximate size you don't have to go and get a ruler or anything um, and how we do that is using uh, your hand and it's really easy but you can't be shy you need to get to know your body a little bit hopefully you already do but um, if you don't I'm gonna just walk you through how to find out if you have a low medium or a high cervix First of all, I'm going to go ahead and put up a picture here to show you what a cervix actually looks like. It kind of looks like a donut. Some people describe it as the shape of a donut. It does have that little indent in it, and sometimes you can feel it and sometimes you can't. Um, but it does look like a little donut, and if you touch the tip of your nose, this ball of your nose right here, and wiggle it back and forth, kind of like on Bewitched, um, that's kind of what your cervix feels like just that uh, it has some give it moves around it's a little soft so that's what you're feeling for it won't feel like any other part of your vaginal walls the cervix connects the uterus to the vagina so it is the tunnel that a baby has to travel down to be delivered and using some high-tech instruments from around my house don't laugh okay uh, this is a hair bun to make or a hair donut to make a bun uh, in my hair and I'm going to use it in place of a cervix so this is kind of what a cervix would look like usually it doesn't have this hole here um, it's usually closed up like that but that's where I was talking about where you might be able to feel that little dimple in your cervix when you touch it but when you hear um, your doctor saying or a doctor saying that a uterus uh, cervix sorry is um, dilated it means that the cervix is opening so the center of this is actually opening and my daughter is up I hope you can't hear her too loudly talking to my husband is working in the back too so <sighs> noise again um, so that's dilation it, it's opening of the cervix when you hear the word effacing it means the thinning and stretching of the cervix so uh, another high-tech instrument um, actually this is a Korean face uh, a face soap and it's a peach. It smells exactly like a peach too. It's so good. But kind of does look like a boob. Um, I'm not using it for that. But I just wanted to show you that when uh, they say effacing, <laughs> it's the thinning of the, the cervix. So you can see that um, the, the size of my hair bun had uh, stretched and now it's a lot thinner than when it was at its normal position and it's still kind of stretched out so I'm just gonna kind of fluff it back up and you can see that it's thick again so those are the two words dilation and effacing uh, I know it's not relevant to this video but I thought I'd share that anyhow the reason why we ask you to get an estimate of uh, the measurement of your cervix or the height of your cervix is so that we can sec suggest cups that might work for you right off the bat or at least narrow down which cups to suggest to you when you ask us which cup is right for you. So um, 
If you have a low cervix, we might suggest a bell-shaped cup or a smaller sized cup. So here is my Lena cup and it is a bell-shaped cup. It flares at the bottom here or at the rim. And it makes it so that the cup seems a little bit shorter and it kind of like rides up a little bit differently than the V-shaped cups. So this is a large Lena and here is a small Lena and you can see the the different sizes um, would make a big difference in somebody that had a low to medium cervix or a very low cervix so um, if your your flow is very light and you have a low cervix so a small lena might be really really good for you if you have a really heavy flow but have a low cervix then the large lena might be good for you if you have a medium to high cervix, the Diva Cup might work for you because of this V shape. It does give a, or it, it does take up more room, and it could, or your vagina can um, hold the the whole length of it. I'm sorry, my husband is outside working still. Um, without the bottom uh, poking outside of you. Um, and I don't have a small Diva Cup, but this is the large and, you know, um, the sizes for me, um, I would suggest if you have a heavy flow, try the size to you. Be surprised at how many people um, think that they should use a size small and then it doesn't hold enough for them. Uh, try the two unless you do have a low cervix. Um, then I would say get the size one or the smaller size of any cup. Um, but the Diva Cup is a longer cup than some of uh, of the more well-known cups. Um, but here is the V-shaped cup compared to the bell-shaped cup. So you can see it takes off some of that height there. One of the easiest ways to find out the height of your cervix is to use your hand. And the Juju website had a really good um, picture and a little um, a paragraph about how to do it and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put up the Juju picture. Um, but you can see that they use their hand and they say to use the knuckles. So using your your middle finger, which is normally the tallest or longest finger, insert it into your vagina and uh, when you feel that tip of your nose, um, that's where you would make note of it, make a mental note of where it ended up on your hand. And again, I'm going to bring out some high-tech tools around, from around my house just to kind of give you uh, a, a little visual. I'm so sorry, I'm just... Uh, I just kind of pick things up and say, oh, that, you know, this might work and they might understand a little bit more. Um, for me, I need to see things I don't know about you. So uh, these are for the ones that need to see things. Um, so I just have a chapstick here and this is going to be my cervix. It has that little indent. <laughs> and this is kind of about the size uh, your cervix is or maybe the the um, size of your knuckle if you were to fold it in half here so this is my egg and or my the, it was two egg tops and I just kind of taped them together you might have seen it in some of my other videos so I'm going to stick my lip stuff in here and this blue marking would be the opening of your vagina if you stick your finger in and just uh, get stopped right there by your cervix, which would be my first knuckle or my first knuckle line, that would be a low cervix. And if it was higher and you inserted your finger and it was to the second knuckle or the second knuckle line, that's a medium cervix. And if you have to, and I'm using the wrong finger, I'm using my pointer, um, I, I wouldn't normally use my pointer finger. I don't know why I just, I just did. But if you insert your middle finger this time um, and brought it to the knuckle or the very bottom of your finger and could touch your cervix, or maybe you can't even touch your cervix at all. Actually, 
um, when my cervix is normal. Um, I'm not going to pause this. <laughs> when my cervix is normal, uh, it hasn't been the last couple months, but usually I have to insert my finger and still kind of push up a little bit and bear down at the same time to be able to reach my cervix. And that's a high cervix. Um, people that have a medium to high cervix, I'm going to use my lip stuff right now. Um, people that have a medium to high cervix can use just about any of the cups. Um, for me personally, the bell-shaped cups, I can use them. Uh, the Lena cup for me was a little bit too firm, so it just kind of sat in, in a place that um, didn't like the pressure and I would start to get cramps with it. Uh, but I do have some other bell-shaped cups, the Sabelle, it worked fine for me. Um, but they do seem to ride up high during the day and then I have a little bit more tricky time um, releasing the the seal that they create. Um, there's a piece of light here. Um, I'm still able to use them just fine, uh, but it just does make it a little bit more tricky to, to remove them. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. So with my medium to high cervix, these are some of the different menstrual cups that I'm able to use. As you can see, that they're all different shapes and styles. Um, and I don't really, oops, I just dropped one. I really don't have a problem uh, using the different shapes and sizes and styles. Uh, however, I don't favor all of them. They do still work for me. A person with a low cervix is a little bit more limited to which cups they can use, um, but there is a cup out there that is going to work for you. Uh, these are all more of bell-shaped or they're size small. This is a Schoon Large, but it is a bell-shaped, and this is a large, I believe it's a large uh, Maluna Sport, or short size, not sport, short size, uh, shorty, and they are made for people with a low cervix or a lighter flow. Um, so. Although you are limited to certain cups that might work for you best, uh, there is going to be a cup that works for you. So quickly to recap, uh, find a private area, your bathroom, probably the best because you can wash your hands right before you do this, or wash your hands, go in your room. Nobody's going to know what you're doing. Um, don't be shy. You need to know your body. Uh, if you're squeamish, you're going to have to get over it if, you're, if you want to use a cup. Um, use your hand. Your middle finger, most likely, is the longest. Uh, low, medium, and high cervix. Uh, it doesn't have to be measured exactly to a ruler. And um, if you have any additional questions, please go ahead and leave me a comment below or find me on Facebook. Um, all my social media is in the description below. I live across the street from a junior high school and they are practicing their marching band. Um, at least this year it's not Tw Taylor Swift's uh, Shake It Off because that was stuck in my head for about two weeks to a good month. Um, but it's fun. I, I like to watch them. I'm at my uh, living room and my window is right here uh, and it it's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to swing my tablet around, oh, and it's plugged in, and you can see that's the back of the line right there. So, um, until I see you next time, take care. Hi, what's my cervix?